It's 1994, Khartoum, Sudan. Amidst the dusty chaos of a Sudanese market, an extraordinary chance encounter set the stage for one of the most ingenious and diabolical intelligence operations of all time. Billy Waugh here was a Green Beret, and after that got old, he became a mailman. But after the mail business didn't deliver any adrenaline, Billy became a CIA officer. He's so legendary that just saying he was a Green Beret and a CIA officer feels like a major understatement. One lucky day, Billy was working in Sudan when he unexpectedly spotted the world's most wanted terrorist in a market, Carlos the Jackal. Yeah, I know. Carlos looks like a 1970s truck stop glory hole technician, more than he does a terrorist, but I assure you, he's a real bad dude. The glory hole thing is still a distinct possibility, though. After spotting the Jackal, Billy went to his boss, Kofor Black, with the news that he just happened to see the Jackal in a Sudanese market. Black was initially skeptical because the odds of randomly encountering the Jackal were so ridiculous. But Billy convinced his boss to initiate an operation to confirm that the guy Billy saw was in fact Carlos the Jackal. Billy goes back to the same Sudanese market where he first saw the Jackal, hoping a chance encounter was an exploitable pattern. After a few unsuccessful market trips, Billy's persistence paid off when he spotted the Jackal in the same market as before. Once Billy positively identified the Jackal, a fist fight suddenly broke out in the market. This fight was likely orchestrated by an associate of Billy's. The fight drew a curious crowd to include a curious Jackal, which allowed Billy to get the photographs he needed without the Jackal noticing during the commotion. The photographs were sent to CIA headquarters and confirmed the unbelievable Billy found Carlos the Jackal. The final act of this story is where it gets a little uncomfortable and hilarious. Hilarious in an evil villain kind of way. Billy's operation unfolded with cunning simplicity. Billy learned the Jackal made a dental appointment for a toothache. After some CIA funny business, likely involving a particular dentist, the Jackal showed up for his appointment as scheduled. The dentist then prepared his patient for the procedure with a slumber-inducing gas. Carlos went from counting back from 10 in a dentist's chair to waking up on a CIA plane bound for France, where he would be tried, convicted, and sentenced to life in prison. This operation remains a legendary tale within the US intelligence community, showcasing that sometimes the most effective operations are those that employ the most unconventional methods.